Hi there, welcome to the next video and in this video I will show you how you can catch any type of an error within the Python. So in the previous video if I show you we have talked about zero division error which basically catching up the divide by zero issue when you are uh, doing a division of x by y but there are n number of different types of errors which is uh, which is out there as a predefined error and probably it's really difficult for you to to name or to basically remember each and every one so what you can really do is if i simply copy this for now and paste it over here what you can do is you can have a little higher level of class over here and what i meant by that is all the classes like zero division error, name error, value error are derived from the class exception and we will call it let's say e and simply print e over here. Now any type of exception whether it's a value error, name error, floor issue error, whatever the error type is and you can see it in detail by simply writing the Google's in Google search Python error handling documentation and you will see all the error types uh, within the python documentation but for now what i'll do is i will simply execute this and again i will say div by zero and five comma zero for example and now if i enter now you can see that we have not given any error like zero division error but what it has done is it has first reached to a higher level class exception then it has gone inside the child classes and one of the child classes is zero division error so it has identified it based on what argument we have passed now the thing is that in larger program it may delay a little bit uh, your program but uh, then it will give you an efficiency from the perspective that you don't have, have to really remember it but in a real world or in an ideal scenario it will be really good or it will be um, suggested to have an idea about what kind of error may occur and then finally if you if you are not sure about any other error then you write it except so for example first you write try and then you write one other except which is uh, let's say in this case zero division error as that de that de colon and you print ZDE. So you are catching up this error and then after that if you are not sure about any other error you can include this statement. So that way uh, your program will be a little bit faster because it does not have to search in the subclasses from the main class which is exception and then in rest of the other cases you are allowing us which is like probably in your case 1% of a criteria that it will go uh, for any other exception which can be then handled by this statement over here. So that's mainly I wanted to show you that how you can catch any type of an error with the help of exception and we have just extended our previous example to include this exception to cover or to catch the zero division error exception. But you can try it with your program to if it is giving you an error and you are trying to handle it and uh, hopefully it should work as expected. That's pretty much about it and I'll meet you in the new video a new topic.